Good afternoon, folks. We'd like to welcome you to the 37th annual running of the Kaiser Permanente Napa Valley Marathon. We're going to get our uh, all-star Olympic panel going in a moment. Uh, I've got to uh, update all of you on a technical problem, and that is that uh, Frank Shorter is in Albu Albuquerque, where they are in the middle of a bad snowstorm, so he was unable to get here today. But we have the spirit of, of Frank Shorter here through the magic of modern electronics. Of course, being a Luddite, I have no idea how these things work, but Frank is here. Uh, S say hello, Frank. Well, hello, everyone. Albuquerque had what is going to go down in many people's memories as the snowstorm of all time. Um, you would think they would know how to deal with snow, but they don't. So I, I was not able to make it there this morning, but I'm, I'm very, very happy that we can link up. And, I, and I'm anxious to listen to everyone. But I, let me tell you, I wish I were there. Well, uh, we won't tell you what the temperature is or anything here, Frank. Uh, we'll just let you guess. And uh, we, uh, uh, it, it kind of points out, I think, why uh, you were the champion that you were, because when uh, bad, bad situations come along, you figure out somehow some way of getting around them. So thanks for putting, all, putting in all that extra work today to make this work. Now I'm now I'm I'm going to turn it over to our narrator and your old friend and our friend Joe Henderson. And Rich is going to stay on stage. He's going to lip sync Frank during this program. <laughs> no, Rich. Thank you, Rich, for bringing us all together. I don't know if this is definite, but it's maybe one of the first times that all three Olympians uh, from 1976 have appeared on the same program. And uh, it's definitely the first time I've been with all three at once, except at the 1976 Olympic trials and the Olympic Games. So uh, before I go any further, I'll ask how many of you were running in 1976? There's uh, more than a few. Well, <laughs> these guys, of course. Uh, I'll ask, too, how many of you weren't yet here in 1976 <laughs> at all? And you may wonder, what does this program have to do with you? These old men up here talking about the past, well, it has everything to do with you. Because probably the decade of the 70s was the most revolutionary in the history of the sport. And the things that happened in the 70s are, make it possible for there to be big city races, big races, you know, well-organized races like Napa. Uh, that I really think of it as the golden age of, of running in this country. On the very high level, that is true, but it's true in many other ways as well, because what had happened at the high level at that time filtered down to uh, the rest of us. The, in, in 72, Frank Schroeder, of course, won the Olympic marathon, but also Kenny Moore was fourth in the Olympic marathon, and Jack Batzler was ninth. It was the best showing of any country that year, but one of the best showings ever by any country. And that led into 76, when some people would say Frank won and Don Cardong was third, but in the record books it shows that uh, they were second and fourth. There'll be more, we'll get into that more as we go along, but I kind of feel like uh, Forrest Gump, for those of you who remember that movie, that I've always been on the outskirts of the great things that have been happening in the sport, and I certainly was at that time. Because in the trials of that year, I stood about as close to the track at Hayward Field in Eugene as the first row of people here are right here, right now. In that race, the favorites, of course, were Frank, who was the defending Olympic champion, and Bill, who was the American record holder and the 1975 Boston Marathon champion. Then everybody was wondering, who's going to beat that other guy? And when I was standing there at the finish, I was still wondering. Frank, Frank and Bill came in very close together, one, two. And then there was somewhat of a gap. 
we were wondering who's going to be that other guy. Well, here's the other guy, Don Cardon. The Olympic Games, I was also hanging around the, the fringes. And I was probably at the start and the finish about as close as the back of the room here. And Frank and Bill were among the favorites. And as they came into the finish, some other guy came in ahead of Frank. Nobody really knew who he was. They announced his name as uh, uh, Serpinski from East Germany. That kind of held up a red flag right there when they said East Germany. But Frank came in behind him in, in what was one of his better times. And then we were wondering who's going to be third.